Park, they were followed in by Arnhem by Natural Scenery, as they joined the uh, course proper. And we'll see him just inside of it. If you hear your paddle number, do just join us down here before we get you back up in front of the judges. So. Getting ready for a special day. So we arrived at the Maidan race course, which is the home of the Dubai World Cup horse races. It's the biggest event in the social calendar in Dubai, and it's one of the biggest horse racing events in the world. Certainly by purse value, where the amount of money being won today is 30 million US dollars. I think the final race is 10 million US dollars. So it's where all the big names in horse racing come together. You've got some of the biggest jockeys and the biggest uh, horses uh, here to win some big muller. So horse racing and equestrian in general is a big thing in the UAE. It's been part of Arabic culture since Arabic culture has existed. And Sheikh Mohammed bin Rashid Al Maktoum, the ruler of Dubai, has built this stadium, Maidan, because of his love of horses and horse racing. In fact, he even owns stables, not just here in Dubai, but also in the UK. So he has a very strong tie between here and the UK and the horse racing scene in the UK. So this is of a particular importance to him and he'll be here later today. So Sheikh Mohammed wants to make the races accessible to everybody. So behind me is where the free seats are. So anybody can come and watch it here. At the moment it looks empty, but that's just because I've come early and uh, it'll be busy later. I usually go for the apron tickets, which are down at the end there. They're paid tickets, they're not too expensive, but that's usually where the fun is. There's the fashion competition and there's a lot of media things that go on there. And usually that's where I go for a bit of fun. Way back behind me here is the finish line where the horses will finish. And just down here you'll see the cups. There's nine cups, including the World Cup. So they'll win uh, different cups for different races today. And if you just take a look here, this is uh, the Maidan. It's architecture's a little bit like a bubble. And we've got different boxes here. We've got the corporate boxes, we've got the media boxes, and then you've got the royal boxes where Sheikh Mohammed and his other uh, family members sit. Uh, in the main part in the middle there. I spent a lot of time getting ready today um, and I've actually been planning my outfit for the last four days. Um, I got a company called Brands to sponsor my clothes and uh, they, they had a really nice jacket and a friend of mine saw their jacket in Abu Dhabi, I gave him a call straight away, I was like, right, that's for the races. So I spent quite a lot of time doing it. Now, a good buddy of mine, Marlon Weir, He's won the best dress competition two years in a row. Not last year because he's in Enter, but before that he won it two years in a row. And he custom makes all his own clothes. And I messaged him to say, are you coming today? He's like, maybe. I said, are you? I know you're coming. He's like, I might come. And so uh, I want to see if he's here and what he's got. Because if he does, he always beats me when it comes to uh, looking sharp. He's just got style. And uh, I'm hoping he's not here, because then I may have a chance of winning, and all this effort would have gone to nothing, but we'll see. So some people are big horse fanatics, and that's why they come, but the majority of us come here for the social side. And here in the apron views, you can see we've got a few different stands here set up by different vendors, which will turn into big parties later. This is Moe Shandon. We're going to go find a couple of friends of mine down at the Barasti tent, and uh, they have all sorts of stuff going on inside as well. So we'll go see if we can find my friends. A friend of mine, Marlon Weir. How you doing? How you doing? Paris, good to see you, mate. Right, he custom makes all his own clothes. And the first time I ever met him, he came up to me and he goes, you know, there's been some controversy about your pink shirt, but just want you to know, like, I like it. And I'm a linen man myself, so... And then he starts telling me about how he custom designs everything. And he's won the best dressed two years in a row. Two years in a row, yeah. Right, so tell us what you're wearing today. Uh, today, uh, I'm wearing something that I did in collaboration with my tailor in the custom shop in New York. Um, inspired by just classic London tailoring. Yeah, nice. You know, it's like um, a very traditional Prince of Wales check. This is your logo. It is. It is. Right. So and you put that on the buttons here. Yes. Yes. As well. Detail. Detail. 
Not man. Attention to detail. He's got his own logo, which is the peacock, and he's placed it here in different places. So are you entering the best dressed? I am. Marlon came, and he came, custom made his own suit, and he's got all this funky material, and he's matched it with his girlfriend's outfit. So they're probably going to win best dressed couple. So. All this effort might go to nothing, but I'm still going to try and compete. And actually, there's one or two other guys who look incredible and they make all their own stuff. So I'm here with Nado. Now, Nado was here last year and won it and won it the year before. So another another guy who's won it before. Now, what are you wearing? Actually, I'm wearing uh, off-white yeah. because it's summer, you know? Yeah. And I'm, my skin is dark, so this color will work best for me. Yeah. Do you, do you make it yourself or do you get from Yeah, a... I do make myself everything. Yeah. Wow. I mean, the suit and the, the, the t-shirt and the so are you a fashion designer or is this a hobby? Well, I'm, I'm designing my own suit but I'm more into styling. Yeah. So you can say I'm a stylist. Yeah. yeah. Fantastic. And where is it you're from? I'm from Sudan. Sudan, okay. So this is the the, the vibe of Sudan. Absolutely. Come, come to rock the, rock the UAE. Look at socks uh, full of flowers. Because, Look at these. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Fantastic. <laughs> love it. I love the outfit. Thank Good you. Good luck. We'll see who gets to the final. Yeah. So fashion is a big thing at the races. And best dress competition takes place here. It's called the Style Stakes. Now in Dubai, people dress very sharp. And uh, they're a little bit further out of the uh, out of the ordinary than what I might find at the races in the UK or in other places. So I'm going to be entering the best dressed man competition later. I'm not expecting to win it, but taking part is what counts. I've got my number here, that's me, 202, entering the best dressed man, but it's not for another hour or so, and it's really warm. So I'm going to go inside and get a bit of AC for a while, maybe a bit of food, cool down, and keep myself looking a little less sweaty. See, I tried to smile at the judges and give them a wink. Try my best to, uh, to charm them. We'll find out in about 20 minutes who made it through to the final. Um, some pretty good outfits going on. So we'll see. So how are you feeling after the first round? First round is over, yeah. And uh, that is the most nerve-wracking, I would say. Yeah. Um, Do you feel that the judges were having a good look? Do you reckon you got a chance to go through to the final? Yeah, I was trying to make some eye contact with the judges, actually. Uh, yeah. and, and, and like really look down the barrel. That might scare them. <laughs> yeah, I was smiling. This look. <laughs> I, was smi I was smiling yeah. and I kind of waved a couple, you know, a couple yeah. Durham bills in front of me. Yeah, yeah. So what, what other tricks do you have? You're, you're a veteran at this. What the tricks do you have on stage? Well, socks count. Socks count. You know, so I, yeah, the socks. I did, I did, I did pull the socks up a bit, right. uh, and then like you know, a little bit of that, a little bit of that. You know? Showing them the inner, inner yeah, lining, inner lining, some detail. So yeah. hopefully, hopefully, uh, hopefully they, they they catch subtle. Are you going to do a spin or anything in the final? If you get in the final. Exactly. If I get in the final. Um, a spin, a, I don't a know. hat thing. Uh, no, I'm not really a spinner. A dance? Uh, I think it'll just happen uh, uh, organically. Things right. happen organically. Yeah, just, uh, Freestyle it. Yeah. yeah. Something's going to happen as well. <laughs> First off, let's hope. Right, let's, well, we've got the cameras to let's, see let's what's going to happen. Finals. So, if you hear your paddle number, do just join us down here before we get you back up in front of the judges. So, the shortest and best dressed man, paddle number 104, come down to the front here. Paddle number 103. 204, 101, 202, 235, 137, 232, 142, and 145. So if you heard your panel yeah, numbers called out there, you've made it through. But the winner of the best dress seller on the race course at the moment is paddle number one zero four. So there's 
my man Nada ended up winning it and uh, I could tell that he was probably going to be have a good chance so the fact he won it good on him so you can see how many more people are here behind me in the stands it's really got quite busy so the reason I came earlier to show you it empty so you can see the difference but there's real energy now real buzz and it's a race just about to start so we'll take a look at this trying to go past band out Paddy's day lost a spot coming to the outside now is Elsa here as they race in and Darius Dubay on ahead of the rest they go to the final 350 in the Kahila Classic and uh, Talabel Cavalier is the leader <laughs> Look who I found! Hey, how are <laughs> My old friend Annika! <laughs> you having fun? Yeah, I'm having a good time. You look like you're really busy. I feel like I'm busy. Yeah? Yeah. Is that sarcastic? No, so you are busy. No, really, really. Are you, uh, how long are you staying? You're going to be here for a while. I'm staying for the end, for the very last race. Okay. Yeah, what about you? Uh, no, I think I might hang for a couple more hours. I might. I don't know actually. So if you're going to come to the races, it really helps if you book your tickets early because they give discounts. Now there's different types of tickets. I came for the apron views. That's the place you come if you want to have a lot of fun because that's where they have the best dress competition. They got all the all the lounges going on, so it's good fun. If you want a bit of a higher experience in terms of hospitality, the corporate boxes have food and drink uh, included, and you've got a place to sit. I personally feel that it's a little less fun there, but if you want something a bit more relaxed, that's the place to go. Um, the free seats, or they're not really seats, it's a standing area. Um, I wouldn't recommend uh, uh, unless you really just want to come and not spend some money. It's better to spend a bit of money and come to uh, the Apron Views or the Corporate Box. And um, to get into the Royal Box, I think you need an invite, which uh, unfortunately I don't have this yet. So things are really getting busy now as we're reaching the final race, which is on in a minute. It's going to be over and out from me, but these guys are going to be partying for a long time at the party, and then the after party, and then the after after party. So, wish us luck. I'll see you next time.